Hello, and welcome to Sounds of Song and Hope. A brief period of oasis, we hope, that you can enjoy during your day. I would like to begin by reading something from Father John O'Donohue, the late Irish priest. It's from his book entitled To Bless the Space Between Us, which offers blessings for all kinds of circumstances of our lives. This, was an, this is entitled For an Interim Time, because it seems to me that we are in an interim time, having left behind something and moving towards something else that we cannot yet quite see. Let me read this for you. When near the end of day, life has drained out of light, and it is too soon for the mind of night to have darkened things, no place looks like itself. Loss of outline makes everything seem strangely in between, unsure of what has been or what might come. In this wan light, even trees seem groundless. In a while, it will be night, but nothing here seems to believe the relief of dark. You are in this time of the interim, where everything seems withheld. The path you took to get here has washed out. The way forward is still concealed from you. The old is not old enough to have died away. The new is still too young to be born. You cannot lay claim to anything. In this place of dusk, your eyes are blurred and there is no mirror. Everyone else has lost sight of your heart and you can see nowhere to put your trust. You know you have to make your own way through. As far as you can, hold your confidence do not allow your confusion to squander this call which is loosening your roots in false ground, that you might come free from all you have outgrown. What is being transfigured here is your mind, and it is difficult and slow to become new. The more faithfully you can endure here, the more refined your heart will become for your arrival in the new dawn. Today we light this candle to remind us that in Jesus Christ, God's light shone in the world. And this is a light that cannot be extinguished. Let us pray. Gracious holder of all time, you know how confusing these days are for us. We are told over and over that we are entering a future different from the past, but we don't yet know what kind of a future that might be. Will it be a time of financial struggle as the economy tries to stabilize? Will it be an opportunity to let go of some of society's inequalities in order to embrace a fairer world? Or will it be a time when resources become even more concentrated, leaving more of us behind? Will fear over our health continue to be an obsession? Or will we be able to put it aside once again to focus on other things? Will we continue to be confined to our homes? Or will we be freed from isolation that feels more and more like imprisonment to enjoy open spaces and freer association with others and reunions with those we are missing so much? When will we be able to grieve those who have died, support those who have struggled, Visit those who are away. Touch those whom we love. Gracious God, we don't expect answers to these questions. Only that in these uncertain times, as we stand at a threshold, not knowing what is ahead, you might transform us to be ready to embrace the future, whatever it may be. 
Help us to trust that just as the resurrected Christ went ahead of his disciples and promised to prepare a place for them, you are just ahead of us, preparing our place in this new world. May we see this time not as wasted time, but as training time, in which you are making us ready for new beginnings that will both test our faith and bring us more reason to know joy, to live in hope, and to walk humbly with you. These things we pray in the name of the one who has broken the path into the future for us, that we now seek to follow, namely Jesus Christ. Amen.